so this is so overall if i understand right when we talk we talking about experiential spirituality and the point which we have arrived at is that rather than imposing what is right even if it be based on our own experience on others we need to respect people's experience and then let them find what is right for them spiritually or help them find what is right based on their experience we shouldn't impose what we think as right based on others without considering their experience could that be like a broad trajectory that we have taken till now? a broad summary we discuss many nuanced things but a broad some broad overview of the principle that you have discussed till now yes i think so there's another dimension to it there's another uh, quality to it which is that um anything can be a starting point for that spiritual experience uh, you don't necessarily have to have a verse from the bhagavad gita and a class on the bhagavatam and you know a, a, a govardhan puja celebration and you know in in the nectar of devotion there are direct causes of ecstatic love and then there are indirect mm. causes of ecstatic love you know so a direct cause would be seeing the deity for example but an indirect cause if, if if someone is a sensitive person then looking at a flower seeing something in nature or uh, uh, a piece of music a beautiful piece of music or um, a child playing innocently can be an impetus to thinking what a beautiful creation this is and um the advanced devotees like like well shrila prabhupad everything was an impetus to his love for krishna and he he could look at anything <laughs> i remember talking with him one time about um art and uh you know what is an artist you know in krishna consciousness what is our definition of an artist and he said uh art uh, an artist in krishna consciousness is someone who puts something in its proper place for best utility i don't understand what he meant <laughs> he said uh putting something in its proper place for best utility I said yes I said okay so in that sense then um, if someone is a, a street sweeper they're just sweeping the street but they're doing that job making the street best utility by that cleaning but they're doing it as an act of uh, devotion to krishna they let me make this street clean for krishna yes probably said that's an artist <laughs> that person is an artist <laughs> and then there's that lovely translation in the bhagavad gita that uh, devotional service is the uh, the art of life <laughs> art of work karma kausalya yeah, yeah the art the art of work yes yeah so you know we're we're artists you know we're 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 meant to highlight and bring out the beauty in things for the appreciation of others and um a, a sensitive a, a rasik someone with the proper adhikaris who can see krishna manifest in all the details anything can be an impetus for so i'm having this conversation with prabhupad for example and he from his desk he he took a rose a rose flower from the vase and he turned it around like this you know so the flower was turning turning like this he says just see krishna's artistry and he smelled it I said how did this flower know to take this particular fragrance from the earth there are so many fragrances in the earth how did this flower know to take this one particular fragrance <laughs> so he's thinking this is my krishna this is the artist see what an artist my dear krishna is by looking at a flower so i think um i think the 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 prof- devotees who achieve a degree of proficiency in 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 krishna consciousness and spiritual life they they do that they they're capable of inspiring others 
with with anything, with describing a flower or um, a piece of music, whatever it may be. They you know they 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 seize the essence. Bhakti Vinod Thakur called it sar, saragrahis, <laughs> the saragrahi, the essence seekers, the people who seek the spiritual essence of every experience in life. Yeah, I love. That's, Sorry to interrupt you. I love it. Normally we say use it as seek the essence, but what you are saying is seize the essence. Is that what you use the word? That's beautiful. Yes. You know, seize has a sense of urgency and action to it. Is yes. it like I think carpe diem, seize the moment. Very good. Carpe diem. <laughs> carpe bhakti. <laughs> carpe. <laughs> yeah, sorry. It's a beautiful translation. Seize the essence. Yeah, it's not just a passive, like, okay, it's an intellectual seeking. It is there, but for a devotee, it's seizing. And here also, yeah. yeah. It also Isn't been- that beautiful? Is it, what a life we've been given. What a beautiful life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 